Hey everybody, it's Jeff Challen. So in these series of videos, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to debug. Um, and this is new content that we've created because we know that a lot of students struggle with this particular uh, part of the semester when we start working with some slightly more complicated code, just figuring out what's going wrong and, and handling problems. And so we wanted to share just a couple of best practices with you that um, we are gonna establish in the sense that we will start to expect that when you ask for help on the help site or on the forum, we'll sort of check in to see if you've done some of these things because they're really helpful um, and they'll move you ahead to a point where we can use our time together when we help you directly more effectively. Um, so step zero, and this is not a particularly hard step to, to do, but it is, I think, really important. Um, and something that you sort of want to be doing as you go along is to just tidy up. Right, so you know, it's almost like a space metaphor, right? I have a desk; it's covered in junk, and you know, if, if I really need to focus on something, sometimes a good thing to do is just put everything away, try to keep clean things up, get stuff to a state where it's readable. Because I'm going to be looking very closely at this code as I work, and if it's all over the place, badly formatted, got a lot of distracting uh, components to it, that can be very difficult to do. So um, I'm I took some code from from the starter code and I kind of intentionally must it up a little bit, but let me show you a couple of things. And this is stuff that I see in, when I help students. And so I, you know, there, there are some, there are some issues here. So any problems with formatting, right? So in this case, I've got, these are check style errors that are showing up because I've got, you know, really badly formatted code here in terms of indentation. I've got this thing, which is kind of hiding a little bit because it's on a line with a comment, um, that sort of thing. So we just want to take care of that right away. And there's a couple of ways to do this. So uh, if you're me, you sort of got like the keyboard shortcut for auto format on Android Studio memorized and you could just plunk it right in and you know it'll, it'll magically fix things for you. If the code is syntactically correct, like you don't have a missing brace or somewhere, then you can do that. Um, we've also given you a formatting task. So if you go up here, there's this task called format and that's pretty helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and run that. And that's going to run a formatter over all of the files in my, my uh, project. This only takes a minute. Uh, it's a little slow this time because it's starting Gradle, but normally this is pretty quick. Um, and this will just make everything okay, right? Um, and that's a nice thing that you can use, right? And, and when you're, you know, we try to encourage you to approach code in a way so that you're producing stuff with good style. Uh, that's why we've been training you with check style and other things for the homework problems. But we know that you know it's natural sometimes when you're uh, working to to have things get a little bit off, um, and so you'll see that you know that format task put this all back together for me. I still have this problem down here that I need to fix. It moves some stuff around up here where I had two statements on a single line, uh, and so on. So that's a good start. One thing I do see, and I, and I understand why this happens, right? Which is that, you know, uh, as you're working, sometimes, you know, you write a little bit of code and it doesn't work, but you kind of want to keep it around just in case, like you might need it later, you might start over and you comment it out. Uh, and so that can be okay, but it can also make your code very hard to understand, right? Particularly when you've got large chunks of commented code with little pieces of uncommented code in between. And so, you know, I would suggest either one of two things, either just one thing you can do is you can check in your code to Git make a commit so that it's there in case you need it, and then just delete it. The other option is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move some of this out of the way. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that down here and I'm gonna take this big chunk of, of commented out code, I'm gonna move that down here. Um, I just don't want it interfering with the code that I'm trying to debug. Let's say I was trying to debug this load restaurants method. I don't want all this commented code kind of in my space, like in the way visually, um, it makes it hard to read around. I've helped people before where the problem was that there was a bunch of commented code and then in the middle of it, there was one line that wasn't commented and that line was causing a problem, but it was very hard to see because it was surrounded with so much, you know, commented out stuff. Um, so now let's go ahead and, and, you know, we can run the format task again because I made some changes here. Um, if I don't want to just like manually fix that one little bit, but it did it for me, it's pretty quick. Um, and so now, you know, instead of this big tall thing that's, you know, almost spanning my entire screen, I've got a very compact method that I can start to really zero in on as I try to understand what's wrong. So, you know, step zero, and this will be the kind of thing where when you can, and this is so straightforward that 
you know, if you come to the help site, you know, please don't wait half an hour in line and then get to the front and have a staff member tell you, go format your code and basically send you all the way to the back. So just do this, right? Like as you're working, try to keep things tidy, try to keep your code compact, you know, not a lot of stuff spread out by comments, not a lot of really badly formatted, poorly indented stuff. It just makes your uh, work very hard to read and it's very hard for us to understand when you're helping you. So, you know, maintain this sort of fastidiousness, right? I mean, I think that is actually a, a pretty common characteristic of, of good programmers, right? It's a sense of, you know, order and tidiness and just, you know, as you go, maybe it'd be normal to get a little frustrated and maybe start things start to get a little loose, but sort of tighten things up uh, before you get help. So, so that is step zero in our guide to debugging.